good day everyone today's topic is hydrotherapy this topic is an exercise therapy so hydrotherapy it is derived from the greek word where hydro means water and therapy means healing so the term hydrotherapy it encompasses a broad range of approaches and the therapeutic methods that take advantages of the physical properties of water like temperature pressure for therapeutic purposes to stimulate blood circulation and the uh, and to treat the symptoms of certain diseases uh, formally it is also called as hydropathy where uh, the, it involves the use of water for pain relief so hydrotherapy is applied externally either by the immersion of the whole body or part of the body in the water or without immersion by spraying or pouring water into the body next we will discussing the properties of water so the properties provided by buoyancy hydrostatic pressure viscosity and surface tension have a direct effect on the body in the aquatic environment so number 1 is buoyancy it is the upward force that works opposite to force of gravity so over here the archimedes principle is applied that when a body is entirely or partially immersed in fluid at rest it experiences an upward thrust equal to the weight of fluid it displaces so a body in water is therefore subjected to two opposing forces when the weight of the floating body equals the weight of the liquid displaced and the centers of buoyancy and gravity are in the same vertical line so the body is kept in the stable equilibrium so if the centers are not in the same vertical line the two forces acting on the body will cause it to roll over until it reaches a position of stable equilibrium so buoyancy it is a opposite upward thrust now the clinical uses of buoyancy it provides the patient with weightlessness and joint unloading by reducing the force of gravity on the body so in turn it allows the patient to perform active motion with increased ease because the force of gravity is reduced on the body in water due to the buoyancy now buoyancy it also provides resistance to the movement when an extremity is moved against the force of buoyancy so this technique can be used to strengthen the muscles now second property is hydrostatic pressure now it is a pressure exerted by the water on immersed objects over here pascal's law is used so a fluid exerts equal pressure on all surfaces of a body at rest at a given depth so this pressure increases in proportion to depth of fluid so as the density of water and depth of immersion increase so does the hydrostatic pressure now the clinical uses of hydrostatic pressure number 1 is the increased pressure it reduces or limits effusion so it assists in venous return so water can have similar effect as compression bandages thus helpful in decreasing the edema now the proportionality of depth and pressure it allows patient to perform exercise more easily when closer to the surface of water next physical property is viscosity so it is the friction occurring between molecules of liquid resulting in resistance to flow and if fluid is more viscous the more force is required to create a movement so as the temperature of water increases the viscosity decreases because the molecules they move farther apart and this is beneficial for small weak muscles so resistance from viscosity is proportional to the velocity of movement through the liquid so greater the speed of motion higher the resistance so clinical significance will be that the water's viscosity it creates resistance with all active movements and if we increase the velocity of movement it increases the resistance and increasing the surface area moving through water it increases the resistance 
next property is the surface tension so the surface of a fluid acts as a membrane under tension so surface tension is measured as force per unit length the clinical significance of this physical property is the effect of uh, surface tension includes an extremity that moves through the surface performs more work than if kept under water and if we are using equipment at the surface of the water it increases the resistance so these are the physical properties of uh, water we'll continue with the hydrotherapy topic with physiological effects of hydrotherapy in next video thank you